morning. Good morning. Did I have a good time in Paducah? I had a great time in Paducah. In fact, I feel like I'm still on stage in Paducah. <laughs> because when we were on stage in Paducah, we did the twist. We did a lot around and around, and we were all twisting in the aisles, and we had somebody doing hula hoop. And I just couldn't get over it. So I think I'm still in Paducah doing the twist. And this is my outfit, and you can see that this fits, right? <laughs> because all of my colors I use look like the 50s. But I'm going to show you all the colors that I have, everything that we're doing today. And then we're going to make them. OK, so that's the first one. That's the broken sash, pink, black, polka dot. And this one is the four patch, whoops, on top with turquoise and black. What do you think about that one? Cool. Ooh. And what I'm doing, I made the square and the square right in the very center. And then I had so much fun with square and the square, I went nuts with square and the square. Ooh, and that's another one. Isn't that fun? It looks really hard, doesn't it? But it's not. And then this is the last one that I did with square and a square and just rectangles. Ah, you like it? So the best thing is it's really easy to do. So before I start with doing all of these things, it's been so fun because everybody has something different to share. Yes, I'm excited. So this is going to be good. So first of all, um, do you want to show your scraps? Yeah. This is good. This is your turn. Okay, okay, you get to come up with me. You're not mic, so you can speak in my booth. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we have a mic. You don't need my boob. <laughs> good. There we go. OK, and I'm going to hold it for you while you explain what you have. OK, I have saved all my scraps since we started the class at the beginning of the year. And some of these are actually usable scraps, but I put them all in a packet because I wanted to see how much waste there was. And out of all the blocks that we've made, this is it. And so what do you think? I think it's pretty cool. cool. So that's yeah. what people think, that you waste fabric with AccuQuell, then it's not true. No, definitely not. No, I know. I think that's really good. <laughs> all right, cool. You're up. Ah, oh, I love this. Just come around, <laughs> smile, speak in my mic. I decided to use the AccuQuilt in one of the patterns that we had done, and so I sat in front of the TV one night watching a movie with the kids and cut out a bunch of shapes and then sewed them together. And so this entire quilt is done with scraps and Whoa. the AccuQuilt. Wow. Oh. I got to see. That is gorgeous. <laughs> and what's the pattern? Spinner. Spinner. And spinner is really easy. And how long did you say it took you to cut all these pieces? Just in the movie. Just in one movie. <laughs> there see? were 560 pieces. Wow. <laughs> I love it. And I love your flowers. Show your flowers again. And your flowers are the, the Rose of Sharon. Rose of it? Sharon. Rose of Sharon. That is great. What a beautiful so show. see, that, that is one thing that we're showing. That Oops, I don't need to talk in this. <laughs> we don't, what, what we're showing is that you don't have to just do AccuQuilt applique, right? You can do piecing, and you don't have to square up. Yes. Yay! Yeah. And you have these engineered corners, exactly. so it all locks together. Yay! Yeah. Whoa. All right. So now I need to keep on, hold on to it, but only watch the apple pie. We've been in Julian. Do you want to share your quilts now? I, I want to see them. I'm so excited. I think this was, um, was this March, the March block? Oh, the, March the basket. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is great. Thank you. Thank you. That was the basket that yeah. we did around Easter. So I just cut out all this pad, all this block the day we were here. Yes. And the fabric was a birthday present. <gasps> that is great. That, I really like that. Thank you, Diane. 
Oops, I'm sorry. That's all right. Jo yeah, what's my your friend, name? Joan. My friend is Diane. So yeah, I don't know why I said this that. This is uh, Jewel Box. Oh, wow. Oh, was look. Was that last month? Last month. Yeah, last month. Last month. Yeah. I remember you cut it. You cut wow. it in class. Hi, pretty. Thank you. That is great. And I just pieced the back together. Good girl. And can yeah. we give a shout out to Sally who's watching and who wishes yeah, she was here? Yeah, Sally. Hi, Sally. Hi, Hi, Sally. Hi. Cool. That is great. All right. So I keep on wanting to talk in this. So I think it's really fun that you saved your scraps, you've made quilts, and now I have these two ladies that want to show how organized they are. You guys are more organized than I am. So maybe what you should do is one of you should put underneath the camera and Linda can open up and kind of show and you come around with me and you get to speak. You're the spokesperson. All right. And well, this is Brenda. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Well, we, we knew we were going to be needing to keep things together. Yes. So we put our ring binder yes. and put our, our calendar on the front. Oh, that was smart. To help That's why you're here today. <laughs> if everybody would have put their calendar on the front, they'd be here today, huh? Well, well Linda had to remind me because I was thinking it was next Friday. Ah. Anyway, so then we put our blocks in with this telling us. Uh, and you can flip through. Let's see. We, we listed our blocks each month on your, your calendar, class calendar. Oh, that's So good. we knew when you said, which, what did we do in April, we knew. And then we uh, had the actual listing of the names of the dies. And then what we decided to do is to put the pictures of all the blocks in the book. And then we did each block had a different page. And we slipped our our blocks in the pattern book. Perfect. Great. So yeah. then turn it turn it around. And okay. Show okay. And you and are you flipping through? I'm Look how through gorgeous all of, mm -hmm. all of our blocks. We've been busy. Like that this. is great. <coughs> and it's when we look, it's amazing how much we've really done. Yeah. In and a short amount of time. And what's nice because then you can look at the name of the block, see the picture, and then put. Of course, these are six-inch blocks. Right. So with the larger of the block, you're going to need. To get a little bit bigger page sheet protector. <laughs> How are we gonna do that? You can, yeah, bigger sheet protector. I know, like a scrapbook. A yes. scrapbook would be yes, big enough. Yes, absolutely. That would be wonderful. You need that really. Anyway, big. so it's very, very fun. And what's nice is I'm a little behind, but see, when I'm behind, when we cut the pattern, the fabric out, we put it in a Ziploc baggie with the name of the design. Because you can't remember once. I know, once they're cut. Once yeah. you have all those pieces. And you don't want to mix them up. Yeah, and, no. then, <laughs> and then you put it in with the pattern sheets. So I'm going to take mine on vacation next week in Oregon <laughs> so I can sew mine, but they're all done. I mean, you don't have to haul all that stuff. All this stuff. They're all, all cut, cut and ready to go. Yeah. And each block takes you usually between 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes, and maybe half an hour. What do you think? Yeah, I think so, but we had debate about that, didn't we? <laughs> Depends on how on many times we screw up, but normally no, we don't screw up. No, no screwing no. up. We don't screw up. If we look at the pattern, we don't screw up. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we do our own thing, though, Eleanor. You know yes, how we are. I know. I know. You do your own thing. Well, that is very exciting. It's exciting for me to see how you're doing. Thank you, Linda. I love it. Too much fun. So there was one part of my little outfit that... I didn't know if I should wear this. This makes it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. It's so you. I'm afraid of that. <laughs> it's so me. It's so me. So is it, would anybody like to um, roll the pieces through the um, baby, through the go baby? Okay. Okay. Okay, Dory. So we'll let you do it. How's that? And we'll just see if our iron's hot so we can get all of these done really quick. You want to do them really quick? So I thought we, um, we're going to look on broken sash first. The pink and the black polka dot. I don't know. We're really into the polka dot these days because I guess it's really fashionable, huh? So you need three dies, four, five, and six. Does that make it easy? 
four, five, and six. And of course, I can't find my dies. I think they're under here. Do you know where my pieces went, Sue? Oh! You just put them in the corner there. Yes, I just messed them all up. It says broken sash and it's all empty. <laughs> where do these names come from? Broken sash. No? Nope. Oh, come on. This is that. Let's look very carefully. I just had them. That's that. Broken sash. Broken sash. And we know we had it on the table. Oh. They were here on the table. That's it. It's like I always want to be so organized, and then I can't find a thing. And you look in, your, no, wait, in my drawer? Cut. <laughs> Please, cut. OK. Would you like to do another one? <laughs> Let's do the four patch. Let's do the four patch. Look. I see the colors, I see the block, I see the stack of dies. Is that good? And this, because because we'll find this one as we're going, but anyhow, it's the, um, it's the square in a square that I really want to show you. Okay, so first we need to have die one, and it's going to be large squares, and that comes from the... From the green, from the green. Ooh, number one. Do you have number one? I do. Okay, since we have need two large squares, this is a four by seven and a half medium for the six inch, and you can just put it right on there and roll that through. This will make two. And now make two. And does it fit? Yes, it does. Yay. Okay, so that one's coming, the squares. And I chose it because it was easy. <laughs> you like that idea? Yeah. Slide it off. Cool. We're going to just take this. And look, we're going to have our block halfway all done already. Was that fast? OK, then we need to have eight triangles from die number five. Ah, oh, you guys helped each other out. And five. That poor die is getting lots of thread stuck in it, so you got to pick at it with that picker. But it'll be okay. And then there's just um, two small squares that are black. And we have the black. Yay! So we have two large squares, and we have two small squares in black. May I ask you? Yes, ask me. Underneath the six-inch block. Uh-huh. And now this one, we're gonna, she's going to cut the little black checks with the last die, which is number six. Oh, I don't think that belongs there. Is it five cut four triangles? No, I think that it was supposed to go, I think that... I think the squares and the triangle columns are mixed up. What do you say? Yeah, I think it should be underneath the five, and it's five dots. I think that um, Merritt did that in his sleep. Poor guy. <laughs> do you see that? So we're going to have to switch those around. Okay. Right, so they're with the five, the size of the five die? Uh-huh. If it says triangles, it should say all triangles. No, I'm sure the fabric is, is right, but, okay, so, we're, you did good. Now you get to press. Oh, good. <laughs> so I'm going to give these dies back to you. So where it says squares, you should always do squares. It says two large squares, and then it says eight triangles. That is truly weird. I did not catch that. We will have to revisit that. So really, it, where it says two large squares, eight triangles, mm -hmm. 
two small squares, those are all right. Ah, oh, you're... Uh-oh, we're going to have to go back and get it all straightened out. Okay. Okay, so I, I'll give you a new sheet. How's that? Let's just make our little triangles in a square because that's what we want to do, right? Okay, so it says, right, to lay out your two squares and put two triangles on each side. And we've got these little engineered corners right there. Aren't they cute? They're going to match. And there's something that I wrote here. I said to use a scant quarter inch seam because you really want to have your um, square and a square be the same size as your squares. And the only way I could get that was by changing to a scant quarter. And see, it says that right there. And normally, if you sew at um, 3.5, you should move your needle one thread to the right so that it is um, 4.0. 4.0. Oop. All right, so red thread and all. I do have a single hole throat plate in here. And we're just going to assembly line sew two of them right down. Yes, and I want to show you how you match. Because whenever you just line up these corners, you have a little bit sticking out. Okay, this is what it looks like on the corners, and your little, your papers are, are right. So you've got that little bit hanging out, and so you, you flip. I like to have my triangles on top, yeah? So I go down one side and cut my threads, and I just turn around and put it on the opposite side, okay? Line up the straight edges. You've got these little things hanging out at the top. And you just go ahead and assembly line. So those. One, two. And let me tell you, this block is almost done already. Is that good? That's great. Huh? You like it. OK, so you set your seams with those two triangles on top. Doop. Got two more triangles to do. And you just press over. You like all the black and the pink and the green? I do. It's my favorite. It's your favorite? It is. OK. And then just cut it here and here. And then when you put this on, put the second side on, you flip it right sides together. And this is what you see. You see that this lines up here, and it lines up here. Is that good? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Very good because all the time whenever I do this, um, you always have to um, worry about, you know, getting it all squared off, getting it all centered on there. And it's hard for me to decide to, to trim or not. And I almost decided not to trim off those little tips. If you can go ahead and sew over them with uh, your quarter inch foot, Yes, it's still a scant quarter inch the whole way through the square and a square. And a scant quarter is only one thread, you guys. One thread. It's really tough, you know, to know. Yes. And where are some more triangles? Oh, I used them all up. Oh, my goodness. We have no thread. Whoa, one more. Let me just take this off. <laughs> Was this one of these mornings again? Um, huh? I was in Julian at a, a retreat for the last couple of days. And I don't think I cut my pieces right. Oh. 
or I don't have them laid out. Well, let us see. Look how fast it's coming. <laughs> Lay out the one. It's too hard to take it off. <laughs> You're still in Camp Cedar Glen. I'm still in Camp Cedar Glen. Okay. And so you can see how it's going with the with the three on here, it's supposed to have one more. <laughs> this must be one of my mornings that I just have to quit and start all over again, huh? But anyhow, you can see that this is going to be the same size. This has to be the same size as this. And so you just lay out the two large squares, the two little um, square and a square. When you sew them together, our magical swirling on the back side. You could still sew it together and just add that corner on the outside and just bind it. <laughs> <laughs> I could still sew it together. Let us want to see. No, because no, you can't on the other one. Uh huh? Oh, I can see. You can see the point. <laughs> you point on the outside. No, okay. Oh, it'll be a new, we've just made a new block. There. Huh? Sew it on later. Yay, it's perfect. Good, don't you love it? It's add a piece as you go. It's add a piece as you go, really. Pieces, oh no, don't mention piecing. It's not paper piecing. It's really cool piecing. Anyhow, that one is great. Yeah. And that's to do why it. it says on the top. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be. Um, it was supposed to be six triangles. I think I did this in my sleep. Yeah, but you need eight. So you need a total of eight. But three by nine and a fourth. I bet you any money that it was right in the measurements. Um, eight triangles, three by nine and a fourth to do, see, it would have been right. It would have been eight. You just had to fold it in half and cut four and four and get eight. Oh, three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it says cut eight. Cut eight. So the, 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 um, the lines didn't get all lined up. I think that your measurements are all correct. Okay? Okay, so. We got that one done. And now, let's see if we can find this one. This is going to be really fun. This one is called a savanna. And actually, Merit is still working on that for you. Savanna. I think this is it. And this is what a square and a square looks like. And what's really interesting is that when you cut a square out of a stripe, when you cut a square from a stripe fabric, this is what you get. So you, it just goes around. You just lay it out. Ah, ooh. You like that? And then the other pieces, you just really need to have the square and a square which you just saw how to do, and then you need to have, I believe it's four and a half inches of the same light that's going to go in the four corners, a medium, four mediums, and then you need to have the same black. And what I did, I thought it was going to be a hot shot. I put the black and the turquoise right sides together, and this is the small square die. The small square. So is that number two? That be number two. Okay, and so put it put it on there. And how many am I using? And just put it on the corner. And you need to have four of each color. You need um, four squares of light, four of medium, and four of dark, right? And so layer cut them. And then I thought I was just going to grab up my black and my turquoise and sew it together. Wrong. That's why I do all of these first, huh? Just to make sure. Okay. Thank you. So let's get rid of this stuff. Okay. So watch. 
if you want to have this look like this, right beside here, ah, because on top goes a turquoise. And then for this one, you have to turn your black so that, oops, so how about let's turn it like that? That would be right, huh? With the turquoise. And now get another black. And it's going like that. Whoops. <laughs> See why you have to look at it? And one more black, and that goes this way. Now, did I get them all laid out? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that one's going like that. That's going up. This one's going across, and that's going up. Mm -hmm. And so beside it comes a turquoise for every one of them. So now you can go ahead and assembly line sew. So now you can pick up your um, pick up your flip, flip the dark onto the medium. Flip the dark onto the medium. Ta da! Ta da! Okay, so let's see if we keep it in order. <gasps> One, two, three, <laughs> okay, um, let me see, um, I'm going to save that last one. <laughs> I think I have it. Let's see. Okay, now now that we assembly line sew these, we'll see if we can get them back in order, huh? That's going to be really funny. Okay, so one. Huh? Since I, since I sewed them assembly line and two of them were wrong, it was easy for me to take out two. Okay, so now... You're going to press your seam towards the dark. Okay, take those and let us see. These go in the corner of those we are sure. Yes? yes. Well, we think. I think. We're pretty sure. I don't We're know. pretty sure. Okay, that one is going to go like this. And I'm going to hurry up and do it fast. A brave soul. A brave soul. I really, I like this one. I thought that it was really interesting with the um, it looks so stripe. Hard. Yeah. It looks hard. It's a really intricate it looks really hard, and, and probably it is. <laughs> okay, look at this. This is beside that, and that's going up and down, right? Yeah. That's um, curly fabric is so good. I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's curly. Okay. There. Okay. No. You got to instill confidence in ourselves that we can do this. Woo! Uh, look, it, it, Does it go upside down? It's to you. Oh. There you yeah. go. No, there, there. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Put it on the bottom. You. Like he's having no, a no, turn. No, no. There, yeah. But that'll work. No, but that's not right. That'll work. But it'll work over there, too. And then to the flip. There, there, there. That way? No. Is that right? No. But that's not in the, that's in the wrong no. spot. Oh, instill confidence in you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe that one works. This one works nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Up and down. Oh, turn it around. How about let's do this? Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is not my morning. Oh, I had it all figured out, didn't I? It looked really cute, didn't it? Yep, but it still looks cute. It's so cute. Who says it has to be right? See, now it looks even more difficult. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? I like it. <laughs> I'm going to 
I'm going to name it after me. It's called, um, what, let's come up with a really good name of it. The Morning After Block. The Morning After Block. <laughs> the Morning After Spending uh, Julian with uh, 30 women and having a tea and cleaning my house. That was the hard part, <laughs> cleaning the house and getting ready. Anyhow, you get the idea? Yeah, it's got yes. movement. Beautiful yes. block. It's adorable. Yes, it's perfect. And not only this one is, is so cute, but where do you see the next one? <laughs> ah, look at that. Pink polka dot and the black. Does that look good? Huh? Yeah? Isn't that cute? Yeah, really cute. Okay, watch this. Let me see. Let me see. Guess what I found? Ones you were missing? That this is that block, I think. No, different. Rectangles. We need rectangles. Guess what this one is? This one is Savannah variation too. Are you ready? It's gonna be right. Square in a square. Square in a square. Four corners, same light. One, two, three, four. Rectangles. Number eight. One, two, three, four. Are we selling all the squares? Ta-da! Beautiful. Yes. You like that one? Yeah. That one's cute too. It's called Savannah. These are both Savannahs. This is like Savannah variation one and Savannah variation two. But I think that it should be, I got it. Let's twist again. Yeah. This should be called Let's Twist, twist again. again. That, that's the perfect name for it. That's the perfect name for it. All right. So, so there are three that they all do the square and a square in the middle. And so that's really easy, and they're all really good. And you're checking up. There's another Savannah, too. Is it Savannah or Suzanne? Um. Susanna. <laughs> it's Susanna! <laughs> Susanna lives in Savannah. <laughs> Susanna from Savannah. Susanna from Savannah. So we don't have a copy for that. Merritt's working on it. He were, we were working through email and, and trying to get things um, passed back and forth, and that's why I think that I made the mistake on that. He was sending it to me in um, um, a file, and we were printing it out. And last night at 10 o'clock, I was doing this. And so that's why I didn't get it all done. Good. Right? Yeah, you can get OK. It. But anyhow, I think that what I found here might be that. Do you want to look and see? OK, let's press, push that up. Push that up. Push that up. That is so cute. What I highly recommend is that you lay it out and you sew it together one by one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? I yep. think so. Yep. And what do you think about that one? That one looks easy, huh? It's adorable. It's adorable. I think it's adorable. See, it's all 50s. It's all 50s. We're 50 girls. Okay, now we're going to go back to Broken Sash because I believe this is Broken Sash Lane here. Okay. Could be, could be. Okay, let's see. If it's sm four small triangles from die four. Okay, see if you can find four. And see if it's small triangles and it says it's light. You want to know that we don't have die four. No, I don't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. It's no, underneath no, it. here. <laughs> no, that's five. Let me get four. This is, is five. Yes, that's five. That's five. Okay, let's look at five. Is it four? 
Is it the six inch one? It's, that looks like it's the nine inch. Let me see. It looks pretty big. That's six inch. That's six inch. This is four. It says, okay, well, look at this. I bet that fits right on top. One, four and three fourths inch first light. What do you think? I think we should go for it. I think that would probably be it. That's four. Okay. Now. I think this is all messed up. I can't think that anything's right. That is really the large triangles. <coughs> That's really. And is it pink flowers? I think it is because it's so big. We don't have anything right. I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving. Yes, I can. You would be su how surprised how quickly I could leave. There we go. I did this on purpose so you could be really excited that I could screw everything up. Okay. I would say, and now... That, I don't think anything is right on this paper. But it says pink. Look, I have pink. Okay. And it says um, three. Let's see. This is three by four and three fourths. This is for die five. Oh, we've got that one. Die five. Okay. So cut. Four small triangles. <laughs> Those are all wrong. Wait till I go back to Merritt and say, Merritt, nothing worked out right. <laughs> Merritt, do it all over again. Okay, that's that, like that. Okay, oh, look at these. These are going to be so cute on the corners. I think the block is still pretty. What do you think? It's adorable. This is a complicated block if you had to do this by hand. Only take forever. I know. Some of those little pieces. This is easier. This is easier. Oh, good. Okay. Now it goes like this. Let me see. Like this, like this, and like this. Pardon me? Oh, Merritt. Okay, Merritt. So you should come and let everybody see you because I'm blaming it all on you. It's those flip flops. It's those flip flops. Okay, so now we have four squares, four squares, four squares, and one light square, and we need die number six. Do we have six? We do. Look at this. So you can take the second light, which is the center, the center, and you want to make four of the black. So let's see if you put the one on top and you cut four at a time. Okay, let's see the die. Die is right there. Die is right there. Okay, and you need to fold it in half. I think it's better. I, I tried one time. I was trying to do three and one, but I think it's better if you just fold it in half and then you get two at a time. And then how many of this one? Only one. one. So, so stick it, go at the bottom. you could put it on the bottom, you could put it anywhere. There we go. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> what did you say? At least you guys are having fun. <laughs> we always have fun with you. Good. Good, because wait, just wait till you see. Wait till you see this. Oops. Had a little, didn't get, didn't get quite. Okay, look, four squares. One, two. Isn't it cute? Three. Four, Very cute. 
We just change the values, right? And this one goes right in the middle. Is that cute? It's adorable. What are you thinking? So now we'll just now we'll just do this. Okay, we only have squares. Okay, let's read number one. It says stack four squares with four small triangles. Okay? And so the square that we have four of is the black, right? The black. One, two, three, four. And it says the small triangles, right? So we must need that. I like it. I think it's better. I think the five and four is reversed. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Everything is reversed. It just shows how versatile the water is. Yes, it shows. Thank you, guys. You guys are so cute. Whenever you say little things like that, it feels so encouraging. <laughs> okay, listen. So you guys think this is messed up? I was just telling Teresa how messed up we were in Paducah. And I said, well, I just had to turn on my charm, but you guys are helping me out when I'm all messed up. When we were at Paducah, the very first class we were going to teach, our kits were not there. And there were 30 people sitting and smiling at me. See, we have all four, right? Little triangle. Okay, set the scene, press toward the triangle. 30 people, no, yeah, sitting and smiling with no kits. And we looked everywhere, we looked everywhere. We thought that they were going to come at 10. So I taught the technique, and we're all being patient. We're all waiting for a truck to pull up at front with our kits. Well, a truck pulled up, but it was the wrong, wrong kits. So then they said it was going to be at 12. And then it was going to be at 3. Aren't they cute? That looks just like number 3, right? Yes, it does. Now, turn the page. Our colors are completely reversed. <laughs> So now you just take, you, you turn that down, and now you use the big triangles, okay? So get it turned just like this, the big ones. So anyhow, I just used my charm until I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> See, is that cute right there? Just the colors are a little reversed, okay? So now we're just gonna flip right sides together. So I pulled out wedding ring. We were supposed to make twisted log cabin. But since we had no twisted log cabin, we did wedding ring. Why not? And then finally the kits came. OK, this is what I love right here. Do you see when you put that large triangle on, you line it up like that. And see right down at the bottom? See how that's all lined up? Let me see if I can sew on the right side of the line. Do you think I can? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have you up here all the time, Dory. Oh, no. Okay. So just pull those. Okay. And assembly line. Just keep them going. So see, Brenda, you and Linda aren't that unique at all. <laughs> You, th you think that you're the only ones that make mistakes, huh? Well, at least whenever people um, watch my webinars, they talk about doll instructors. Maybe the doll instructors are right. <laughs> Maybe the Perfect and doll. Why don't we make mistakes and have a good time? Okay, so we did assembly line with that. That's cute. Is that cute? Very, very cute. And all we have is one more <laughs> triangle. Are you pressing towards the triangle again? Or towards the square? I'm pressing towards the square? Uh huh, towards, towards the triangle. Towards but the towards the square. Towards but um, <laughs> where's the rest of those pieces? <laughs> that was all so we had. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't have enough. <laughs> Look at the directions. Uh, okay, so you need one of those mirrors and say, here, this is a, this is a, this is a 
<laughs> it's not right either. <laughs> I can't stand this. I haven't done one single thing right today. Let you know what? Do you see those pies over there? We're going to have pie and ice cream from Julian. You want to have pie and ice cream? Let me tell you, Eleanor, if you mess up around Joan, she grabs your blocks and eats them. And I'm telling you, literally, she grabbed my fabric, stuffed it in her mouth, and chewed it up. Boom! Joan! I did. What? She did. They were small pieces. They were little pieces. She said, if you don't need these, they're extra, I'm, I'm eating them. And she ate them. Okay. So... So, do you want to press that for me again? Um, you see how versatile I am? I can just, <laughs> I'm so, I can't believe this. Do you want a seam ripper? No, I got it, I got it. I think I have a seam ripper. I got new glasses. Did you guys all notice that? I got new glasses. I thought that I wouldn't have to take my glasses off to see. <laughs> but I still have to take them off to see. Okay, you are not going to believe what I am doing. I am getting the middle row fixed. And that's how easy it is to do the middle row under number 10. Do you see that? Yes, that is number 10. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to do the other rows. Okay, you ready? It is really a very simple <laughs> block. <laughs> Not this morning. <laughs> Not this morning. Well, it's a good thing all those other quilters are just staying in the other room because uh, we don't want them to see what we're doing in here. <laughs> okay, so just wait and see. Okay, whenever I picked up those um, little pink uh, triangles, I um, was really supposed to um, put them on two ends. Okay, there you go. See, you can set the seam. Let us go back. Where did Eleanor Burns make the mistake? Oh, it said lay out two triangles That's with one little square. That's the wrong That's the wrong That's not the right <laughs> No, that was the right was page. The right <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need that one. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, one, two, three. Oh, yay. Ta-da! <laughs> that is it. And it just says press your seams toward the center row, right? Oh my goodness. Did we have fun? Yes. Good. Because that's all I'm going to show you today. I